Welcome to the most underrated dividend series you're gonna find on YouTube, the Power Five Stocks of the Week. This crowd favorite series comes out 30 minutes prior to market open each and every Friday, and will show you stocks with upcoming ex-dividend dates that are leaders in a variety of important dividend metrics. That sounds awesome. Without further delay, let's get to the list. This week's high quality stock leading the pack with the highest dividend yield could also be at the most attractive buying price. That stock is Mid-America Apartment Communities, stock ticker MAA. Mid-America Apartment Communities is a quarterly payer in the real estate sector, paying $5.88 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 4.37%. MAA has been paying and growing its dividend over the last 14 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 11.24%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 8.43%, and a payout ratio of 61.38%. At the time of recording, Mid-America Apartment Communities was trading 23.76% off of its 52-week high. They have an ex-dividend date of January 11th with a payout date of January 31st. And here on my channel, I like to compare any and all investments to the return you could have otherwise gotten out of the S&P 500 in the same time frame because I like money. With that being said, a single investment of $10,000 into MAA 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would have grown into $31,000 thousand sixty eight dollars and thirteen cents which comes out to a 12 percent year over year return rate which is compared to the s p that would have grown that same 10k over the same 10 years into thirty one thousand twelve dollars and sixty eight cents resulting in a difference of fifty five dollars and forty five cents on the side of maa this week's stock that's been paying and growing their dividend the longest is Roper Technologies, stock ticker ROP. Roper Technologies is a quarterly payer in the industrial sector, paying $3 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 0.55%. ROP has been paying and growing its dividend over the last 30 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 10.08%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 10.94%, and a payout ratio of 16.41%. At the time of recording, Roper Technologies was trading 1.22% off of its 52-week high. It has an ex-dividend date of January 8th with a payout date of January 23rd. And that single investment of $10,000 into ROP 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would now be worth $41,756.35, which comes out to a 15.36% year-over-year return rate and outperforms the S&P 500 by $10,743.67 over the past 10 years. This week's stock that believes in giving you big raises year-over-year -year is MasterCard, stock ticker MA. MasterCard is a quarterly payer in the technology sector paying $2.64 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 0.62%. MasterCard has been paying and growing its dividend over the last 12 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 12.87%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 17.8%, and a payout ratio of 18.56%. At the time of recording, MasterCard was trading just 0.43% off of its 52-week high. It has an ex-dividend date of January 8th with a payout date of February 9th. And investing $10,000 into MasterCard 10 years ago while only reinvesting the dividends received, that would now be worth $54,440.09, which comes out to an 18.46% year-over-year -year return rate, which beats the S&P by a total of $23,427.41 over the past 10 years. Before we get to the last stock, please make sure you're helping me out by clicking that like button and then make sure you're subscribed with the bell rung so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. And I know that people are huge fans of this series. If you're one of those people, give me a hell yeah in the comments down below. All right, now let's get to this last stock. This week's stock doing its job to make you rich is Intuit, stock ticker INTU. Intuit is a quarterly payer in the technology sector paying $3.60 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 0.58%. Intuit's been paying and growing its dividend over the past 12 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 13.75% a five-year dividend growth rate of 14.87%, and a payout ratio of 21.26%. At the time of recording, Intuit was only trading 0.96% off of its 52-week high. They have an ex-dividend date of January 9th with a payout date of January 18th. And again, we have that one-time investment of $10,000 into Intuit 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since, which would now be worth $89,024.82, which is a 24.43% year-over-year return rate, which nearly triples the return of the S&P and results in a difference of $58,012.14 on just 10K just 10 years ago. And just like that, I was able to show you four different dividend stocks that are the best of the best. These stocks not only come with a dividend streak of at least 12 years, but they've also outperformed the S&P 500 over the past 10 years and have ex-dividend dates of this coming week. 
beat that. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if any of these stocks piqued your interest and what it was about that stock that got you excited. And if you're interested in seeing how to make your spare cash work for you in 2024, make sure you check out this video. But until next time, see you.